So I'm the director of machine learning and artificial intelligence at Rcurve, and I help uh, lead a team of 30 data scientists and engineers and software developers. And we basically help clients derive insight from complex data sets. Well, a lot of the data that we work with is, tends to be in an unstructured form. And, and these are things like the files, uh, legal documents, contracts, environmental reports, or work tickets, which we see a lot on, on places like mines, mining operations, things like that. And we often think of those data as being trapped in, quote, data jail, because it's really difficult to analyze those sorts of unstructured data using traditional data and analytics methods. Well, using Neo4j and Neo4j graph data science, what we do is we have essentially a machine learning pipeline that uses a supervised OCR process. And what this thing does is it goes through and it takes these files, reports, legal documents, legislation, that sort of thing, breaks them down uh, into a graph structure. And it does this by going through and looking for patterns and then using natural language processing methods to identify and, and separate out pages, paragraphs, sentences, and then it starts to look for named entities, so named entity recognition and that type of thing. And as we build that up, that gives us a series of nodes that are extracted out of this graph document structure. We can then use that as a foundation to feed into the graph data science libraries, where we can then use cosine similarity, page rank, Louvain community detection and whatnot, to then find ways of connecting these things up to build a complete picture of an entity. Knowledge asset is a super useful concept. Uh, for example, we helped uh, an organization uh, reduce the amount of time required to triage legal documents, such as regulatory these regulatory documents, um, by about 70%. We had another example too that is also quite interesting. It's one I get pretty excited about, where we created a, a knowledge graph of a mining system that basically blended together structured data about the system's performance from a number of perspectives with unstructured data coming in from things like the, the work tickets and reports about the equipment and its operation maintenance. By unifying these two types of data sets together, we were able to actually improve the accuracy of the financial impact measure of unplanned downtime by 40%.